how much garbage do we make? Yes, there was another one. Well, good morning, everyone. It is about seven o'clock. And I'm gonna head to the winter shop with my son Ryan Jr. Daryl's supposed to be at the yard at 7.30. We'll see what happens with that. And I'm gonna try to get my welder fixed and continue welding. And I'm gonna have these guys do some other stuff. So we'll see what happens today. It's really warm out for uh, January. It's in the 40s. Well, it's about 40 degrees right now. It was raining instead of snowing. Otherwise we would have been plowing. Morning, Natalie. Morning. You're in a bad mood? Tell me the truth. I have, at least I got you to smile a little bit. Already? Yeah. Good morning, Ryan. Morning, Mizzy. How are you? Doing fine. Good. Daryl's here. Why's he got all that garbage? Good morning. Morning. Do you want to get those barrels? Sure. Let me go over there and see if his truck's in the way or not. Okay. And I'll be right back. I don't think it is. I don't think it is either, but I'm not positive. So we got a line on some barrels of oil for the winter shop, for the oil burner furnace. You saw Daryl Jr. in there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daryl Jr.'s here. But the guy sometimes parks his truck right in the way of the barrels. So I'm gonna check if if they're open to get. Guess we're not getting these barrels of oil today. See they're right behind his truck. It's all fenced in, you can't get to them at all. Is it there? No, yeah, his truck's in the way. Is it? Yeah. So just come in here. Okay. Then. Why you got all that garbage in your truck? Because I don't know when the garbage day is coming. Hold on. Morning, Daryl. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Of course, I'm ready. <laughs> You're ready? Okay. Yes, sir. Because it's a holiday, I don't know when the garbage day is coming. I got to stop at Air Gas. I'm going to see if they have a new, some new parts for my welder. My welder is broken right now. There's, a, there's other Milwaukee tool that you should definitely get the. I, I had a little. Kind of like. Um, it's a camera. So you can hold. You have the, the whole device in your hand. Yeah. Kind of like a little screen. Yeah. But you get this real long camera. Um, so you can look inside the engine and everything. Small places. Yeah. And you can see right on the screen. Hmm. I wonder if I could put that in your dad's ear, see what's going on in there. Maybe. <laughs> Pretty cool outfit. All you see is a couple little spiders. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Mm -hmm. I said I could put it in your dad's ear and see oh. what's going on in there. Oh, no. <laughs> That would be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think my dad's allowed him here. He'll blow up the place. <laughs> yeah. <I'm fine>. No. <laughs> it's fine. All right, we're at air gas. I'm gonna see if I can get a whole new gun. And if not, hopefully they have the parts to fix my old gun. You guys all together? Yeah. What can we do for you? So I was wondering if you have a replacement gun for this. I think it's just a pretty standard Miller, the 25, I think it is. Well, I'm probably not going to have the genuine Miller, but I would have something in a Radner that would at least get you going, if that's what you're thinking. Is it going to work good? It should. I don't like your confidence in that. <laughs> this is nice. This is alright. 
So the biggest challenge with the new Miller stuff is they have all different consumables. Right. Which you're not going to want to have to stock all new consumable stuff. I don't have anything for this anyway, so I don't really Oh, you care. don't? No. I have like a little box of tips. That's all I have left. Oh, well then let's I'm pretty you. much fresh out of everything, so. Okay. Well, let's get you the newest one then. So the main thing is as long as it's going to plug in proper. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's going to have it has the, the same, same plug. It's got the same plug. It's got the same back end. Man. What diameter wire are you guys running? Uh, 35. Okay. Which I also need a, I need a spool of because mine's getting a little low. Okay. You want a big 44 pound? Yes. Okay. Man, this is awesome. Look at it, it's even blue and black. It even looks good. Yeah? Look at that. I can't wait to weld with this. <laughs> I bet you it's expensive though. Oh, it's crazy expensive. This is a welder. They want you to get down on the back of the truck. <laughs> generator. Mm-hmm. No, this is a welder. It has generators. Yeah, I know, but it's only got the one pedal. Well, it's generating right here. It should be the runoff for a house. Right? Huh? Wait, can you run that generator? Can you outfit the entire house? Ooh, good question. Uh, uh maybe. Yeah. Uh, Powerful house with them, it's powerful now, and we're sold. <laughs> so take one, I have to take two, one for him and one for us. <laughs> okay. There you go. Yeah, just get the, gonna take that yeah, one just you? grab yeah. the forklift. Yep. Thank oh, you. Lovely. This is really cool. And if you're powerful now, it's one whole generator. And if we get any bad storms this year, and your power goes out for a couple days, with the whole generator. It's about time you get your butts over here. What's going on? What do you think this is? Banker's hours? MacGyver's here. What do you mean, a horse? Banker's hours? Hey, Brad, don't it? I've like three hours worth of work in already. Did you finish your welding? No. Okay, well, well, you can't say anything then. You've been working on that for six days. No, no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you see that? I bought it. Yeah. Did you see the new cabinets? No, I didn't have yeah, no. Yeah. Those are the ones that you see that one time, eh? Yeah. This, these are the keys for the truck that's outside. Just pull it outside of the garage door and wash it real good. Ryan, the bucket's there. Go wash it real good. Man. No, you need to help them. For which truck? The new truck. Okay. It plugged right in and it fits. What do you think about that? <laughs> I try to make it so if your dad hits something, it'll be strong. <laughs> yeah, right. Got it. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. It's running. Hey, where are you going with that? I need this outside. No, no, no. Come on. You don't need a heater outside. What are you thinking now? We need to two pizzas. 
For what? Why? You want to make a headache rack? Yeah. Oh boy. Welders back in action. I got to cut another triangle piece for the other side. That's kind of where I left off when the old welder uh, gun had its malfunction. So I need to finish this side off. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Oh, you're ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. easier than my old gun. Hopefully you can see that. You busy? Nope, I'm busy right now. Not right now. Let's we'll see what the other guys are doing. How much soap did you put in there? I don't know. <laughs> A lot. It looks like it. They got, uh, he's got He's got turbos that run the water pressure and they're not running fast enough. You probably didn't feed them. I know. Make sure you spray under there too. I know. I, know. I have to. Daryl and me just cut this piece of tube steel here and I'm going to weld that on the bottom, give it more of a bumper effect and then stiffen that bottom in case anybody you know, backs into anything or a car hits us, it's not going to go too far, right? Daryl's just glad to be here. I got the bottom piece welded on. I'm gonna clean that up with a wire wheel. Daryl, Daryl, and Ryan are starting to organize. I see where their priorities lie. <laughs> is that the most important cabinet? Oh, yeah, the soda is. and cookies we don't and plates? No, that's why it's way in the plates, corner over here. Cookies. Yeah. I'm gonna put the welding table here. So I want to have all the welding stuff right next to it. Organization. I don't need that. I got glasses on. I got glasses on. All right, I'm going to clean this up. What? So... We take well, like, a lot of wire, put on both sides of the hitch, and then I would love to take the bar, start to dump, so as far as the auger, then do another bar, then uh -huh. we'll do we'll, 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 we'll that up first, and the other side, so it'll connect right together. And then, then when you're backing up, up. Uh huh. It'll, it'll hit the bar first. Oh, bar gotcha. Bar. So you want me to build a protector for the chute? Yeah. That's, man, good idea. See, Daryl does have good ideas. 
I have to give him that. He's going to do it a little different than I'm going to do it, but same idea. And no, he did not see the previous video. I didn't even put it out at this point. I'm working on it. Man, I love your idea. Yeah. It just so happens I have all the parts to do it. What if we use yeah. these? They're going work. You're making a lot of executive decisions, you know, without asking me. Like what? Hanging signs. <laughs> you think this wall looks nice to begin with? This is where all the graffiti's going. That was going in the corner. It is, it's going on this wall and this wall. So this one will have to be better because then, then with this one, it fits on both sides. So, this one is on the side, we can make it to where, um, so this one will bring the whole piece out. Daryl, I got a plan already, but thank you. Well, I got a plan already. Um, yeah, another one to be able to decide that one. You know, and then take it out to the corner. There we just have that hole right there. Daryl, I got a plan already. I don't know, just another idea though. I think your idea didn't work. How many <laughs> ideas do you have? A lot. All right, you don't have to go crazy. Okay. go here like this I'm gonna cut the back of that off you know we got a trash incinerator out there did you go look at it you made a burn barrel yeah. did you light it I can smell it It is. We're gonna need bigger holes, I think, probably. It already is, most of it's gone already. It's just pretty yeah, much this, this trash. I mean, this shopping cart. It is. You got rid of all that garbage there. Uh, the don't throw aerosol cans in the fire, though. Thanks. We oh, was he threw? Garbage before you throw oh. stuff off. Are that you kidding? Are you kidding me? That was in the bottom of the garbage. A brand new knife and chalk. Yep. I never put those in the garbage at all. There is the one cleaning everything over there. Oh, you got the nozzle? Oh, you got the nozzle. That's how he does. What? Oh, you got a pump too? He's got the pump or the pump. 
put that in there and lift it up. Pump it into the five gallon pails. Just do it here. Yeah. Don't, you don't have to go over there. Just pump it from here right into the pail. That way we know we got perfectly clean oil. That's if you get too. water and you dump the whole thing in there, then what? I, and that's what my thought was. So dump it in the five gallon pails first and then dump it in there. It's not that many. Even if it's not, it's only like half full. It's two. only gonna be probably five or six buckets. Is there a reason why that's too rough? Probably to keep it clean. Okay. All right, I got that traced. So we'll get this cut and then weld it on. You got all water and antifreeze in there. Just keep going. I'm glad we didn't put that in there, man. Like Look at all that antifreeze. Oh, I know. Now I think we bring one up like this, just one, and then and then go like this, like this, and then I'll get a decal made for this, a big salt shaker. Oh, a big salt shaker. What do you think? That doesn't look kind of full. Yeah. It's a little for up. I think we do it. I think we need a salt shaker right here. That's a good idea. Oh, you like my idea? Yeah. All right. Well, well, otherwise he likes one of my ideas. We should have a party. Yeah, no, that side is not on this side. To see how it's oh, and it's not welded all the way yet. I will once it's welded, yes. Oh, cool. Let me finish welding, though. Well, that's not all done, though. Junior said he wants me and him to stand on the back to see if it's strong or not. What do you think? It ain't going to bend. Yeah. Right. There you go. Yeah, I'll catch you if it breaks. Don't do it at the same time. No, just try to get up there first. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Hey, don't bounce on it, man. Wait, 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 wait. You gotta give a thumbs up, man. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> oh, just. <laughs> man, it's too hot in here, man. I know. That thing didn't bend at all. No, it didn't even budge. No, it moves the whole truck. We should try to back into something though. You should. Yeah. You should back into like a concrete well, thing. Well, he's got all kinds of junk out there. <laughs> you should ask him. I don't have to ask him. We'll just find something that's garbage. Hey, we're going to find something outside that's like junk and we'll back <laughs> into it with that. Oh, what's over here? What's this? Right here. got to hit it hard though. Actually, I'll have you back into it. <laughs> that thing's pretty heavy too, actually. I mean, it's not heavy, but it's got some it's weight to it. It's not like it's an empty, empty barrel. barrel. Exactly. Here's the thing though. Do we test it with the shoot down or up? <laughs> with the shoot down. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> We gotta test it. You gotta test it, Daryl. It can't just be like your weight. Yeah. It needs a test. You gotta do it. See what you're saying? I'll do it. <laughs> 
No, your dad's got to do it, obviously. Your dad's the one that's oh, going to hit it all the time. He's a professional. He can do it with his eyes He's closed. an expert. <laughs> Look, it's hitting the chute. He destroys stuff already. <laughs> Pull forward some. That was lame. I didn't really think of that. You floored that time. Uh-oh. All right. <laughs> I, th I think it exposed the weak area. Something can go underneath and push up. I think I need to weld one more bar underneath in the middle uh -huh. from there to there, which is probably not a bad thing because then I can then I can get it back to where it needs to be because it's hard to get in and out right now. Testing, testing, one, two, three. We're like the Wright brothers of shoot protectors. So that was a test fail. Kind of. Kind of. Something could go under there and push it up just like that did. That's good. We need a little modification before we go bananas on it. <laughs> All right, three and five eighths. I don't need the level. I don't need the level. <laughs> See, Junior? Fixed it. All right, I'm gonna weld that center piece on and then we should be good. They got that welded on. We're gonna go back out for test number two. <laughs> it protected it. See that? Oh, it drug all that on my ground. It went under it, but it didn't damage it. Was it <laughs> Look at you plowed that mud like that. <laughs> that was pretty Man. cool. Well, that's good. It didn't wreck nothing. Let's do it one more time. All right, hit it hard this time. Stop being such a sissy with it. Hey. Just pretend you're plowing. Okay. <laughs> 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 you, you bent my tailpipe, man. <laughs> Oh, but look at the salter, it's perfect. That was a good hard hit, at least that like simulated what you would really do when you're plowing. <laughs> oh, I know. We're not done with our testing, you know. Watch out. No damage. No damage. Let's go get his bed. Oh, he wants to try his new cart. Oh, you just want to try your new cart, huh? Oh, yeah. You had to get the one in the back. The easiest way to slide it on is to go down. Well, I suppose I should just set the cart on that side of it. It's in that crack. Push that corner. What corner? Get that wheel out of the grip. Yeah. Grab. 
You want to come forward a little bit? There it is. Nice cart. It is. And it's adjustable height and everything. Well, adjustable height, adjustable length. It'll work for a, for a five foot bed. It'll work for an eight foot. It'll get used three times and it'll sit out in the scrap pile like everything else. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Thank you very much. Yep. All right, I got one more weld to do. I put a piece of angle in the back to stiffen it up and I'm out of welding gas. So we're gonna get welding gas and do a couple other things. But it's pretty much done. Gotta drill the holes for the pins and paint it obviously. And I drill these holes for the pins. I don't have any more drill bits. I gotta get a bigger drill bit. All right, I just have to finish two welds on there. I ran out of shielding gas, unfortunately. So I'm gonna pick some more of that up. I don't know if I'm gonna come back here or not. I might just finish that tomorrow. And I never did get around to cutting the back out there for the lights, but that's something I can work on tomorrow. Get that all set up for the lights. I don't even have all the lights, so it's not really a rush. I ordered some from Amazon, but that's gonna take like five more days. Hopefully we can get some of this stuff painted tomorrow too. Lullabies. Lullabies. Good morning. You were sawing logs, man. <laughs> yes, I no, it wasn't. Wash the plows really good and down by the pedals really good and all that. And wash that skid loader off really good too. The spigot's right there. Oh, okay. But you need this key. This is a seeker key. So grab the hose, that, and wash those, and then I'll come back and get you guys. All right. I got one errand to run. You coming with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Because it's warm in here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that people just like the matt damon film that came out and his i'll be right out all right i stopped at my house junior has a couple christmas gifts i need to give him i got a couple things here this was given to daryl jr i don't even know what it is uh but thank you and then this is from a friend in kansas and this is for daryl jr to buy clothing it's an amazon gift card for 500 dollars Okay, this is for five hundred dollars from Amazon, but you have to buy clothes. Right. You can't buy no strobe lights, no flashlights, no lights of any kind. Only clothes, okay? Right. And this is I don't know what this is, but this was for you. So open that up. What is it? Oh, oh man, a light. Oh. <laughs> that is bright. A light. Sweet. Oh, that's cool. Is that for the nighttime? Man, that's neat. You like it? Yeah. You should probably say thank you. Yeah. You should say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Man. He loves it. All right, we got to get back and pick those guys up. Where do they go? Probably sitting in the skid loaders. So I had those guys rinse those machines down. All that salt water just messes up the paint. That's 130. It's kind of taken a little bit of a beating through the years, but it's really not terrible. If I hadn't washed it through the years, it would be a rust bucket by now. Daryl got this. Oh, no way. Yep. Junior got that? From where? Look it. Where'd he get that from? And hey, look at this setting. 
Oh, can I have that? <laughs> nope. Come on. Nope. I can still be that rock model. Mess with it. There's another idea already. What did he say? He, he wants to bring the other rack tomorrow. He wants to switch them out. Oh. Like cut the you whole one off that we made choice. today and then put and a whole new one on tomorrow. So you want me to cut the one off that I made today and start fresh? I was just going to do that one, you know? That guy will hit Daryl. He doesn't play games like that. He doesn't have patience for that. See him? He's not happy. They all think everybody wants to play games until he's under the front tire of the truck. <laughs> oh, Daryl wants to bring the other rat. Yeah. Where is it? Well, I made the bucket holder for the ATV. It's not that one. Oh, there's another, oh the other one's way down there. Yeah. Remember I built this for the ATV? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, there's the red one. This thing works awesome. I know. So I built this for an ATV. It goes right into the hitch. We can and then it holds two five-gallon pails for salting, so you could just jump off and salt. That's not the one Junior wants, though. I know. He wants the red one down there. I have four bucket holders I made on this one. I don't know. I think it's pretty close. It is pretty close. I bet it's pretty close. It's probably <laughs> going right in. <laughs> what if it did? And then you have all your salt. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Well, that's what I had it when I had the truck and I had all the sidewalks because you could just jump out of the truck. You could grab a bucket and go well, salt like right away. No, no, this is not that one. Salty. The sealer one was the big yellow one that I built. I built. I'm on number four right now. Look at that. That's awesome. All right. See you later. Right. Yep. Yeah. Hey, I like your hat. Hey, yes, yeah, sir. You got a victory hat on. See yeah. it? We gotta go drop this tank now. And get it refilled. Well, we get them refilled. Well, they exchange them, but they refill them. Yeah. You know, this is what Grandpa used to do. Yeah, my dad used to drive these trucks for a living. That's what he did. He would deliver like all kind of tanks to hospitals and construction companies and all over the place. He did that for years and years and he never blew anything up. So that's good. Is that the one? See, Bamo. Hey, I took one ear. I lost my lid, man, so I put one of your lids on just to be safe. I had a whole bunch of lids, and then when I moved, I lost all of them. I had like four or five of them. Really? Yep. The other guy, he's new, but he'll try to get you started. What, what, is, what kind of, does 75, he know what? 75, 25. 75, 25? Yep. This is what Daryl Jr. wanted to buy, two of these this morning. Yeah, all right. So. Like, that powerhouse? He's <laughs> like, well, maybe. He's like, well, if we can, definitely get one for us, and then... And one for me, yeah, got it. Dude, how complicated is that? He's never going to learn that. It's going to take a while. <laughs> I see that. 125. Because you have, like, how many different types of gas? A lot. Thanks, you guys. Bye, guys. Thank All you. right, have a good night. You too. Grab. Lift. Grab. Well, how strong are you? What's up, dude? How are you guys awesome. doing? All your, uh, all your stuff on. Thank you. What do you, got, what do you guys do? Uh, didn't know you guys were in uh, Wisconsin. Yeah. Should have known by the Quick Trip video. My, the Quick Trip is the one on Silver Spring right here. What do you guys do? Uh, uh, we everything. work on cars. Cars, so. tint windows. You so. tint windows? Yes, sir. Man, let me get some information. You do yeah, it on the I side? Of, car right you do here. it on the side at all, or? Um, no, I have my own shop. I oh, you I do. do? Myself, yeah. well, you guys are good people to know. I could come, come to you if you need me to. Okay. I'll, I'll give you. I'll shoot you a text. Okay. On my way out of here, so all you right. got my number. You can save it if you ever need anything. Awesome. So, all right. I yep. appreciate you. All right, we'll do a video. You can show how to window tint properly by a pro. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that. but you can't butch it, man. Like leave, oh, no. leave gaps and all that stuff. Oh, yeah, Bubbles. I'll show you. I'll send you some stuff. You'll see. It's. You're good at it. It's good. I can do my eyes closed at this point. Really? Yeah. Nice. Cheap. Yeah, exactly. All right. Have a good night, guys. Yep. 
All right, that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. Adios, Ryan. Adios.